I was happy when they said unto me. I was happy when they said unto me. I was happy when they said unto me. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us go, let us go, let us go. Let us go, let us go, let us go. Let us go, let us go, let us go. Let us go to the house of the Lord. I love that little worship song. Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Tina, and I'm here to kick off the first episode of Demolish That Paper Pad by none other than our own Poet Spice, Jamie. Come on, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, let's dive in. So, I chose this here um, paper pad by Bo Bunny. Love everything about this pad. The greens, the yellows, the blacks, the blues. Come on, somebody. The purple. Yes, I love what they did in this little small 36-page um, paper pad. All right, so for this episode, I decided to do some treats, okay? I pulled out my Avery L um, small topper die. Love, love, love making little treat bags, and I love to color coordinate them. So, I took the die and cut it out with this paper, several papers. I chose to use the purple shred and then the green candy. These are like some um, Jolly Rancher candy. I got some shoes back here, some Laffy Taffy's. I just love it. Simple, quick, and easy. I love, love, love. Let me show you another one. That same topper die I cut out. Now, I wanted to play with my buttons. Y'all know I love buttons. I have a large collection, so I decided to play with my buttons. And this is why. Because this is such a small topper that the button adds just enough of um, a little something extra to just to bring the topper out. I love pretty paper, and I thought in this paper pad, all of the sheets were really, really cute. So, I just like the um, accented with, you know, a little button. So let me tell you about this little um, piece right here. This is a Fun Stamper's Journey die. And I use that. I use the die to cut it out. And then I use the piercing layer die that went with it. And I made these. These are like little pockets. I made this and then used the old, old, old stamp set to stamp out high. I just think it came out really, really cute. Again, I color coordinated it with the blue shred paper. And then I used the blue um, candies and the white candies in the inside. All right, so let's see. I did two of those. Change the button up. You don't have to keep the button the same. I think that came out cute. So one button had a bow and one is just a plain button. And then here's the last one. So I loved how those turned out. Again, this is the Avery L topper die. All right. Let me show you what else I did. All right. So I took some gum. This is nothing but gum. And let me show you the box. Okay. I took extra gum. And I made these wraps for it. I love doing this. I have made tons of these for people for their um, gift, uh, what do you call it, gatherings for party favors. You know, they just really nice. I've made these for a principal, for her staff, for Teachers Appreciation Week. Just something small, but yes, something nice. And so I made these wrappers. I put uh, trim on the end. Now the paper does not have yellow in this particular sheet, but we do know yellow goes through this collection. So this is cute. This is one of the embellishments of the embellishments, um, sheet. And so it says, give out what you most want to come back. Just something cute, nice, and sweet. All right. Here's the second one I did. I use that same gum 
made a wrapper. I put this trim, a yellow trim, a different trim on this one. And let me show you how the back of them are, you all. Just really nice. Okay, something sweet and simple. It's the little things that make life big. Again, this is one of the embellishments off the embellishment sheet. All right, so I made those two. And here we go. Now, if you want something a little bigger with a little bit more um, treats in it, then I created this wrapper. And this is a box of airheads. I chose a different yellow ribbon. Beautiful paper with all of the colors in it. I put a green doily. And then I was gifted some of these heart lace trims appliques. They are so, so cute. I layered one of those on there. And then I topped it off with another embellishment from the embellishment sheet. Sweet and simple. I guarantee you, if you make something as simple as this and give out as party favors, thank you gifts, thinking of you gifts, I'm telling you, you will never, ever be forgotten. And so lastly, I created this one. Again, this is another pack of candy. I took that sheet of paper. I made a topper. Okay. Or a wrap, I should say. I used layers, some of my flowers from my stash. I pulled out some yellow trim. And then I played with my stickles. I did a yellow stickle and a blue stickle and just trimmed that around. So, so quick easy, simple, but yet pack a powerful punch. If you gift this to someone, walk up to them and just say, I was thinking of you. Thank you for coming. Um, you are going to get a great reaction. Again, I topped this off with another one of the embellishments from the sticker embellishment sheet. Love, love, love these projects. I hope you all love them. You should give them a try. I'm telling you, nice, quick, simple, easy. As you can see, I went from simple, simple, simple to a little bit simple. And then I went all the way, like, out the box. Just really, really nice. I'm telling you, this is a sweet, sweet way to just say thank you or to say hi to anybody. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and the little treats that I created. If you've created some similar treats, please note it in the comments. Tell me your link so I can go over and see what you viewed. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. Go out and check out all of the collaborators in this run. They will be posted in the description box. Until next time, you all stay sweet, stay blessed, and keep creating.